my name is Rina and if you are a returning subscriber welcome back and thank you so much for subscribing ever since we moved here in our new home in Sun Valley up in the mountains of Antipolo that was November 25th of last year it was the Thanksgiving Day in America and after we have settled I got myself busier and busier for my online store Zoe Home. The buying, the selling, and it entails a lot of work. The preparation for photography of the items and then the photography itself, it takes almost a day or more. And then the invoicing and the packing. The packing, you know what, it really saps up your energy. And one day while I was praying to the Lord, he spoke to my heart and he said that I should enjoy this beautiful home and the wonderful surroundings that he has given to us. Yes, I should enjoy it, rest more, be quiet, um, like sitting at his feet, listening to his voice and just enjoying our new home and our surroundings. So, of course, I listened to the council and I resolved to slow down on my buying and selling. Because, you know, yeah, the, the YouTube channel actually <laughs> that I created, this one, added to the busyness of my day. So when I uh, had this channel, I started it in March of this year, Oh my, my days got crazier, they got more hectic, and the, I even lamented the shortness of a 24-hour day. I used to say that it's just not enough, so I, I, I prayed that prayer that I was just so very tired already, and the Lord counseled me, and the Ever since then, that was even before I got the flu. So after the prayer, maybe after a week, I got the flu. And so I had the time to, to rest my body, maybe more than a month. One of my plans to enjoy our new home is to not only make it beautiful looking, but also comfortable for our family to relax, to gather, and to have just have some time with each other, just be quiet and relax. So I have been working on our living room um, because I have neglected because of so many things that I do for my online store and also for my YouTube channel. But now I am um, making plans that the projects are underway and I, uh, I also did a makeover for our loft or library. So that's what we are going to see today. So this is our small loft, which we turned into a small library or a reading nook, which is also my studio sometimes because I love the natural light here. So this is just a very small area which we have neglected. But if you have watched my home tour part two video, um, where I shared there that this area before used to be a toilet and bath. So this whole area here from wall to wall was closed up because there was a toilet and bath. And the hallway, the whole hallway was very dark. And so what we did, as I had mentioned there in that video, we removed the toilet and bath and opened up the wall and created that, built that balcony outside there to maximize the light, the natural light, and also for us to enjoy the mountain view. But ever since we moved here after the renovations, we have not touched this area or improved it. So it looks so unattractive, so shabby, so bare. The walls are bare. I have been meaning to put frames there and that's what we're going to do today in this video. There used to be a small table in that corner with a house plant. We removed it. 
to be spray painted. And this sofa here, it's a two seater, it's very old. Uh, we have had it for many years, and even though we had it reupholstered some years ago, I am ready to let this go. All right, so this is one of a pair, or I mean one of a set of sofa. And the three-seater is in the kitchen, which I use whenever I go there. Now, this not a table here is not really for here, but we I don't have a place for it right now. And this has many purposes. Sometimes it holds a lot of clutter. Sometimes we bring it down when we do table setting. We put there all the things that we need for that table setting. But this has to go also because I have a plan for a better coffee table for this area. And this is our um, bookshelves. And we are going to improve on that also. All right. So this is how it looks like. And here I have a very, very big canvas waiting to be painted on. There are also frames there at the back of that door. Frames, old frames from the old house, which we have not stored yet. And they are also going to the stock room. This is a stone, it's like marble. It's designed like marble, but it's really stone. And we've had this for a few years. It used to be black. And there's a pair we spray, spray painted this for the library refresh. Although I'm going to change it once the custom made pure marble is done. And what we are doing, we are putting a marble potty because there are cracks on the stone. And then uh, guess what I'm going to do next. This is Jeliza, my assistant. She does most of the work for me as I cannot do so many things. I am unable to physically because of my illness. So she helps me with my filming, with my online store as well. late Saturday afternoon and Roel, our skilled worker, is here to hang the frames. And Nerio, our office caretaker, is also here to help. Roel is also the one who's making the ironworks for my table projects for both the living room and for the library later on.
Jeliza hangs the frames while I film. I got this from my wool rug collection in my online store. It's made of wool and the size is just right for this space. So this is how it was brought up. There were lots of laughs and struggle. The new sofa is very bulky and heavy. And my son, Tim, there, he's been working with the decor um, uh, on the stairs and the Christmas tree. So these are my newly framed original watercolor paintings. This is a set of close-up close up shots, which I painted. These are roses and one 
sorbet peony. So I think I finished this together with other flowers on close up. I finished them in 2016 and this tulip and the other one there, it's a parrot tulip. They came later, much later on, 2018, I think. So these are a few of my older watercolor paintings. And these four here, they are painted on caddy paper that's made in India. And it's, it's handmade caddy paper. It's quite thick. And I just love the details of this tulip painting. They are all watercolors. And that one there. I have stopped painting with watercolors because I am just so into acrylic now. I just don't know when I could go back painting with watercolors. But I think that these frames here, they are just very simple. They are in champagne gold color and they are made of wood. I had them framed outside by a professional framer. And it's just so simple, simple but elegant and goes well with the sofa. The family loves this sofa, which I got from our home mega mall. It is chunky, it's boxy, so it's very modern and it matches well with my framed paintings. Just very simple and also the colors, they are in muted colors. And the carpet, the wool rug that I used here, yes, it's very classic. The colors of this area rug match well with the color of the sofa and also the frames. And so it, it's really modern and classical take here. This area rug bridges into this classical hardwood and dark wood bookshelf. So this area rug, which is very traditional, but quite simple in design, bridges the whole thing, this contemporary decor, into this quite classical bookshelf. This is a mahogany, and we've had it for years. It's custom made. I designed it. It's hardwood, and it's quite dark. So this is our bookshelf mini library. There's still a lot of books to be put there, but for now, this is what it looks like. Even though this space is really tiny, and this is just the free space remaining, this cries out for a coffee table, and there's no problem with that. There's no problem with that because I also had a coffee table custom made for this space. It will be rectangular and I'm going to show you the update once it's completed. This is an old table which I've had it in our old house. There's a pair and it used to be black which we spray painted with gold. And those are cracks which I closed up with the marble putty and then painted on with metallic gold. And this plant, which is so massive, I'm going to change this. We have planted already on into a new pot. And that one, if you have seen my whole video of vintage home decor, um, this is a vintage crystal lampshade. All right, so those cracks that we I painted on became a design.
thank you so much for watching. I enjoyed today's makeover of our loft and library. It was just a simple makeover because it's a tiny space as you can see. But I love how it came out. My framed watercolor paintings and our new sofa. So I look forward to happy days here in this loft with our family gathering and uh, for those of you who have not subscribed yet please do so and i will see you in our next video thank you bye god bless i hope that i have inspired you to make your own homes into something comfortable and restful for you and your family however simple or grand you want to do it and no matter the challenges like myself who is unable to do so many things because of my illness which i talked about in my channel intro